So I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing with bok choy. I've heard that you can do the cut and grow again method. So I'm gonna harvest all of this beautiful bok choy and um, get it rinsed off and give some to some of my friends and cook some myself. And I'm sure the same rule applies. You just wanna be careful where you cut it. Um, So that it grows back. Gotta be real careful. You see how this is kind of stuck on top of each other. Is my head in the way? isn't capturing it but it's very crunchy very windy. So what I'm doing is I'm um, if I can see the whole the whole I would just call it head I'm grabbing the entire head or as much as I can and I'm just slicing it so I can just get a bundle hope you guys can see that
so that wasn't that labor intensive but it got a little no there we go a little windy um with the snafu with the camera um falling down and everything but it looks really good now so hopefully oh and what i was trying to show you is okay so in this one you can see how you can still see this i don't know what you would call that head i'm not sure what it is called but you need to ensure that that's still intact and i believe that in order for it to um grow back that has to be intact so if you notice when i was cutting i was trying to make sure that i was at least like an inch or two above the base that's the reason why because in order for it to grow back that center part has to be in stock intact and i'll come back over here to the um romaine hearts and you can see how i stayed as high up as i possibly could like a inch or two above the base so that they would have the opportunity to grow again then i think and i'm not 100 percent sure but with arugula and spinach because they are actually leaves like literally just a leaf growing that it kind of sort of doesn't matter how you cut them they should grow back i'm hoping that's the case but you know you live and you learn if it doesn't work i have a ton of seeds um so i'll just plant some more but this is the second succession of the romaine lettuce planted this about a week or two ago and then this is the second succession of the spinach and then on this side i did a row of the same thing so it should it should go well but um yeah i just wanted to Bring you guys out here to show you what i was doing and hopefully give you some tips on how to employ the cutting grow and get method it's very windy out here like i said but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and if you like this video give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you're liking the gardening content um i really think that it's beneficial to see people garden at the same level that you're gardening like if you're not gardening for profit or you don't have a, a huge family to garden for gardening is still a valid and a good option for you to save money as well as um i think ensure that you know what's going inside of your body as much as possible um because wanted to make sure I didn't fall you know nowadays there are so many things that they're putting on um, our vegetables pesticides and all of that in if you can be clean and um, sorry all of that I think that's the best and safest way for you and your family to eat at times if you have the ability to do so so um, until next time talk to you guys later bye